Shaw Garden. We are here at the Ontario Science Centre for a brand new exhibit that's literally just opened. We have our backstage passes for the science of rock and roll, and here to tell us all about it is Karen Hager. Hey, Karen. Hey, Michelle. How are you? I'm awesome. Thanks for having us here at the science Happy of rock to have and you. Roll. So this is a pretty new exhibit. This is here all summer, right? Brand new, just open here all summer. Actually, even into the fall. Okay, great. And what... What was the thought behind science and rock and roll? Well, come on. Sounds like, you know, we think music and art. How does science fit into there? Well, when you think of the summer, you think of rock and roll. So what better time for us to have this? But there is so much science in rock and roll, in every piece of music, actually. Think about it. There's rhythm. There's percussion. There's resonance. There's all kinds of stuff. There's also all the materials of every instrument and how it's been made. All right. There's some building and some science. And then... One of the first things you see when you walk in is obviously that cool history area. And then we've got some neat interactive screens. So what's going on here? So this is fabulous. You can go through all of the trivia for all different ages. And all you have to do is pick one. And it'll come up with a little bit of information. And if you don't like that, you can go and talk about what are the innovations of music. So let's say that we want to know about what a singing doll is in the 1890s. And each screen will take you through all the different eras of music and all of the technologies. There's music. How much money can you make when you working in music, all that stuff. <laughs> I think it depends Lots. whether you're starting out or just finishing up. Absolutely. That. And then social impact, that's kind of not something we think about with, with science and, and rock, but there's a, there's a lot of interesting things, like how does, how does Edison make his mark on music? So there really is all that science, and then the impacts it has on society as a whole. Okay, and we've got obviously older stuff, 1800s, 1900s, but we still have modern stuff, and we're even looking into the future, right? Absolutely, because, you know, we're never going to stop making music, so how can things keep moving along? Like, do you remember when the Walkman first came out? Uh. How interesting. <laughs> I mean, there's people, a lot of kids, who don't even know what a Walkman is. Yeah, I actually had I had a disc man. Uh -huh. So I don't know how we had a, like a CD in there and you're supposed to be able to go for a run. Exactly. It, it didn't work. I don't think the disc man had a very long life. <laughs> so we even have an interactive on our floor that kind of goes with this too, where we take all the technologies and you have to put them in order. So there's things like a cassette tape and an eight track tape. And do you remember the middle of the 45 disc records? We have one of those and kids are like, what is that for? Yeah. They have no idea. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's like some neat history stuff too. Absolutely. Yeah. And one of the things that the Science Center is always known for is it's amazing interactive stuff. So what's some of the interactive stuff that's well, going on Well, we can head here? around the corner okay, and I'm going to show you some of the okay, stuff. Okay, cool. So we have, looks like some vocal booths, some guitars. What's going over on this side? There's lots of vocal booths. There's four of them. So you can go in and sing your heart out. To, um, Heard It Through the Grapevine is one of them. Okay. You can sing along with the track and record yourself. We have bass guitar. We have electric guitars. We have keyboards. And of course, drums. Because what's a rock band without a drum kit? Okay, so one of the neat things about this is you can actually record it and then how, how, do you, yeah. how do you get it? So all of our interactives are you come, you sit down, there's options on the screen to choose which song. You can practice a little bit. So this is one of our hosts, Sonia, and oh. she's, been, she's been playing along here. I'm trying. And what we can do is once you've practiced and you're happy with it, you record it and then you save it on your backstage pass. There's a little QR code. You just take it, you, you put it underneath, and then when you leave, you can share it through all of your social media with your friends. Amazing. So you can be a rock star. So, Sonia, how, how is the drumming going? Are you musically inclined? I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you're jamming out pretty well. So you don't... That's as good as it gets. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to necessarily be musically inclined. Absolutely to not. Stuff out. That's the beauty of this, is that it gives you the chance to actually... Have you always wanted to sit at a drum kit? Kinda. Now you can. Okay. You want to sit? Your turn? Sonia Jam out. You're doing a great okay. job. We'll check out some of the other things. So we have two guitars. Are these guitars there's the actually, same or are they different? There's actually three. So there oh, are okay, two cool. here. These are both right-handed guitars. This is Ryan, one of our guitar aficionados who's uh, jamming. You can hear, they, they play the track and then you can play along with it. So you can I, actually teach yourself. I was actually going to say, are you playing that right now? Because you're is. killing it. He is. Totally oh, playing <laughs> So did you, you hire some musicians to keep this place going this He summer. came along with the package. Who knew? <laughs> Amazing. And now there's some really fun nights that we're putting on this summer here. The there center, are. Right? So for the first time, we're actually delving into the adult market. Like, haven't you always wanted to come to the Science Center and just be with your friends? No camp groups, no kids. Yeah. So throughout the summer, we're opening up after hours, and it's called Science Rocks. And it's a whole evening of the rock and roll experience. So we have Rolling Stones at the Max in our IMAX theater to start the night. They start at 7 o'clock and run till midnight on a Thursday night, actually three Thursdays this summer. Cool. 
And then there'll be live music, there'll be bars, and there'll be DJs, there'll be the rock and roll experience here in uh, the Science of Rock and Roll, and a lot of interactive opportunities. So some of the stuff we do here on our floor during the day, we're just going to bring it back out for the adults to come and play as Very well. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking us through the Science of Rock and Roll. This whole Thanks. thing ends with a really cool interactive concert, and we're going to go check it out. Have fun in studio.